in this video, we are going to see uh, how the uh, in this we are going to see how to construct a four bit binary adder and subtractor. So both in one circuit. Uh, so first we have to build a. Uh, already we have seen how to build a half adder. So you have to press this plus symbol and then uh, it will create one more screen in that you have to uh, draw this circuit diagram, half adder. This is a half adder. Then you verify how it functions. Then after that you add this plus symbol again and then create this full adder. So when you do that, you can uh, create this full adder with the existing half adder. So these two are half adder. So I have copied these two, I have taken these two and given for this for this half adder one input is uh, carry in. So and this A and B and this will give us some and uh, can. Now using this we have built a 4 bit adder alone. So for this the first is the half adder and all these things are full adders. The three are full adder. So this is just 4 bit binary adder alone. So here you will be having the A naught and B naught and then the carry. Uh, this thing is the sum. This pin will have the sum value and this one will be the carry out coming from the half adder. This will be given as an input carry in for the full adder. As full adder adds three bit of information. And here the first two bits, uh, first uh, why we have added half adder is the first bit will consist of only two bits. The first uh, addition will consist of only two bits. That is why we have taken this. Okay. So this is how we have to draw. This is only for four bit binary adder. This will not do four bit binary subtractor. But if I want to achieve the same circuit diagram, both full adder as well as the four bit binary adder as well as four bit binary subtractor, then we have to go for another circuit. So this is what that here all of full adder. I have taken go with this. Uh, I have taken this full adder, four full adder. So where each full adder will add three bit of information. So here uh, through an XOR gate, we are uh, passing the input B, and the other input for XOR is connected to a common uh, input. See if you see here, we will see the first full adder. Uh, the output of this XOR is given as one input. So and then here it is A, another one input is A, and the last is the carry. So the carry is also added to this, and all the uh, in, input of all the X target, one input of all the X target is connected to this common input. That is that we have given name as M. So here A go directly, whereas B go along with the uh, uh, go B is combined with the input of the XOR gate and it is given as an input for the full adder. And one more input is the carry. So here if you see that from this, whatever the carry is coming, that will be given as the input for the next full adder and so on. For the first full adder, it is from this common thing. So if, you, if this M is 1, if this bit is 1, then it acts as a subtractor. If it is 0, then it acts as a full adder. We will see how it is done. Now, oh, for that, uh, uh, I have taken this truth table. This truth table is for verification of four bit adder. So now we'll see how it is. Now we'll, I'll give zero and we'll see first, make it all to be zero. Okay, here you can see the output. First, let us see zero, 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 one. So zero, 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 one. I have given this and then for B, same way, B not to be 1. Now you can see what is the output 0, 0, 0. This, this will be considered as S4 in this 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Now we'll try the next input 1, A3 is 1, and all the others are 0. So first A3 is this, A3 1, and then all the inputs of B is 0. Now if you see that 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now we'll see this 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So 1, what is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So if you see this, 
this four this one and all the other two zero now if you give one for all this you get one 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 and last is zero so this is when it uh, acts as a adder the same when i make this as one now it acts as a subtractor we'll see what is the output of it eventually already it has been calculated and entered in this so here a1 all one and b all one then you will be having all the good zero this is only a carry let us ignore this so only these four we will consider this this is d3 d2 d1 and d0 now let me give the simple all a ones and b here b not so d0 so what is the output zero 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 one yes here we get this output then all ones a and one one zero zero so i'll remove this zero also now if you see this output zero zero one one zero zero one one then all ones one zero zero all ones this zero so now if you see this zero one one yes and then all one and all zeros Yes, you get here. See all this. now one zero zero one zero zero. Now first let me remove this, and then you will see one a three is one, and b three is also one. Now if you see this, all of zero. So this is how the same circuit diagram acts both as a subtractor as well as a adder. This by making this as zero this acts as an adder we make this as one it will act as a begin as a subtractor 